It is 6 p.m. May the 25th, and uh, we've had a crazy amount of uh, tornadoes and thunderstorms blow through St. Louis. So let's find out if any of these were uh, radioactive. So here's my three sheets of paper. The truck's just been on a 17 mile drive. Oh, look at this. Get a read this. Haven't even gotten onto the paper yet, and our background radiation readings are ready two and a half times over background. Look, my goodness. Look at that. We're not, we're not even on the truck yet. We're, we're far away, and now we're 0.34 times background. Back up here a little bit behind me. We'll see the we'll we'll shot. Wow. This is the first time we've, that I've really noticed this happen not even on the truck standing off and we're almost at four times background radiation all right so let's just get a little bit closer see if any of the individual drops of water give us readings my goodness this in the end up being one of the hottest readings we've had. We're gonna, we're five times background. And I haven't even wiped any water off yet. To the truth, I don't even like being in here with this with it this strong. Six times background. And I haven't even taken a swipe yet. And look. Just those water spots. Let's do another set here. My goodness. <laughs> you know, th these storms have been going on for like the last two hours. So anything that would have naturally been in the atmosphere by now would have dumped out. And I mean, these have been strong supercell tornadoes. Literally every county in our in the local television viewing area had a tornado warning. And now we are at uh, five, almost six times background. Six times background. I've never had a reading this hot before. This is the way I used to take uh, readings off the truck uh, before Fukushima. I did several readings just to see if I could pick up anything and loose rain off the truck, and I never did. Okay, so let's go to the paper towel. And let's see what we get with the paper towel shielding the shielding the truck. Where the paper towel shielding the Geiger counter I should read say. So there's still stuff coming through. So this is uh, stronger beta and gamma radiation. All right. So now I'm going to take a sample. Keep an eye on that. Here's the, the end paper towel. Let's see that? Nothing there. Uh, let's sop up a little bit. Sop up here. that the paper towel is not even that dirty. You get a little bit from the window. So I'm ready to dry that. The area is still a little bit wet, but here's this paper towel. Fold it up. Flatten it out. Now what I'm going to do here is while that's running, I'm going to dry the area that I just dried again because there's some remnant water on it. See how I 
it goes. Maybe we'll break our 62 times record from 62 times background record we've had here based on how strong this reading is from uh, the distance. It's either going to be overall greater, or this is just a much greater gamma producer. This is a 30 second moving average updated every 3 seconds. So it takes a little while to get going. It's 36 times background now. 37. Okay, well that's running. I'm going to take some readings here from the grill of the truck. Some more samples. It's amazing how hot that is. From a distance. Seven times background. And this is another sample I just took to the front, but what I'm going to do here, just in case I've got too much water in that sample, I'm going to see if I can drain the water off here. Because the water tends to attenuate the sample, and there was a lot of water on the truck. So I'm going to drain this water out of this sample and dry my glove off. Let's take a see if the water itself still shows hot. So that's the drained water. So draining the water through a paper towel tends to filter out. Alright. So there we go. Here's that sample again. Let's see if it gets any higher from the, from the fact I pulled some water off of it. It's climbing pretty quick. Thirty six times. Thirty seven times background. That's where we peaked at last time. Thirty eight. If we push 40 times background. Forty times background. Yeah. This is the second hottest we've ever had it here. This has definitely been the the hottest I've ever been able to pick it up from a distance. I mean, you can see the Geiger counter was already four times background when before I even took the sample. So it looks like we're holding 40 times background on the side. I'm going to flip this over and check out the back side, see if I see any difference. Slightly less active on that back side. Okay. And here's a single drop of water on the truck here. Now I'm going to see if I can center the detector over it for a second and see if we get much out of that. 
And what I'm going to do is I'm going to take this piece here that I had on the grill or wipe the, the grill with the nose of the truck off with. So let's see what this single piece settles down first to. One lowly drop of water. Five times background looks like it's worth gonna hold that. Alright, so let's move back over here to a sample from the grill. And I'm gonna take a while that's grown, I'm gonna take a sample from the back of the truck. So the hood where the rain was making direct impact so far has been the hottest part. This is from the rear windshield of the truck. Let's see if I can't take another sample from the other side of the hood of the truck here. This is the other side of the hood. I tried to wipe more with one finger. This is still pretty damp, so you can see the spot there. It's just crazy we should have this type of fallout coming through a full hour after tornadic storms have passed through the area. Well, we might break our record on this side. 55 tons back around. 60 tons back. 62 tons. If it goes any higher, we'll break our record. We're holding up the highest. And again, let me re-emphasize is that it's been raining here, thunderstorms and tornadoes for the last hour and a half at least since it's 614 now since 430. So anything and everything that was in our sky that came from you know, radon or whatever anybody else would like to call it that's come out of our local ground area has washed out a long time ago. Normal radon washout daughter products are uh, no, usually no more than, at, at peak levels, 0.012 millirems per hour. This is, you know, undoubtedly signifies fallout that has been transported into the area over the jet stream. 